He thought it was Bigfoot's skull, but then experts told him this. Hate to break it to you, but it's just a rock. Welcome to Stop Clickbait. How to get any guy's phone number. So in this video, this girl walks up to random guys and asks to borrow their phone. When she gets their phone, she calls herself so she gets their number. Some guys are happy, some guys are confused, and some guys' girlfriends are absolutely pissed. You can leave now, <laughs> How much do I make on YouTube? Okay, not gonna lie, this 13 and a half minute long video was pretty painful to watch. It was a Q&A video, and obviously the clickbait reveal is probably gonna be towards the end of that, but I had to watch through everything to make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, when, bleh, bleh, when did you, bleh, I can't speak, bleh. When did, bleh, when did you get it? Whoa, what the? But after getting through all that stuff, the reveal is, it's none of your business how much he makes on YouTube because you wouldn't ask someone else in a different profession how much they make. He says the only thing you need to know is that he can sustain himself from YouTube. Definitely not a misleading thumbnail at all. Paying people eat the world's hottest pepper extract prank gone wrong. So these guys walk around and pay her $20 to eat this pepper, and she nearly dies. So this video is very bizarre to watch, because she starts to flop around, and at one point she goes into a convenience store and lays on the ground because there's air conditioning in there. So I think it was just a result of like heat stroke and the pepper, but don't worry, in the end she was totally fine. Why people are freaking out about what Emma Watson just did. So stupid. So basically she just showed a little bit of cleavage in a new photo shoot of hers, and now people are calling her an anti-feminist even though she's a self-proclaimed feminist as well as a UN Goodwill ambassador. Some tweets against her include, Feminism, feminism, gender wage gap, why oh why am I not taken seriously, feminism, oh, and here are my tits. But mostly, there is support for Emma Watson on Twitter, including tweets like, How about this? Your body, your choice, get off your high horse. As well as, feminism is about giving women free choice. They can cover up or expose their bodies as they want. You've missed the point. I don't know how to tell you this. Look how concerned she looks. My secrets dot dot dot, staring up into the top right hand corner of her room. While she reveals that her goal in 2017 is to become good at singing. Is there a future for the Airbus A380? Well, when Airbus released the A380 about a decade ago, they were really betting everything on bulk transportation, sending upwards of 600 people from hub airport to hub airport. For example, Heathrow to LAX, Paris to Hong Kong, or Dubai to JFK. Well, unfortunately for Airbus, the market started to shift towards Boeing 787, an airplane that had lower capacity but could travel just as far with way better fuel efficiency, something airlines are extremely interested in. And not only that, but the passengers also loved the idea of not having to go to these hub airports to make connecting flights. If they can go from Tokyo to Seattle, or Heathrow to Hartford, Connecticut, that's what they want. And this also benefits the airline, so that is why there is no future for the A380. This is crazy! I walked up the hill and I just found this, it looks like a dot dot dot. You found an abandoned farmhouse, as well as tons of old glass bottles on the ground. This is crazy! Okay, so after watching through this 20 minute video a couple times, I was trying to figure out what he was referring to as being crazy. I thought it was something with this black envelope with a white question mark on it in the thumbnail, like you'd assume, but not once in the video is that referenced or seen anywhere. So after digging a little deeper, I saw him make this comment. The amount of stuff you guys send in is crazy! Yes, that's right, this was a mail opening video from his fans and he was referring to the amount of stuff he's been receiving that is what is crazy. Something amazing happened. So this guy's name is Charles Trippy, and unfortunately he suffers from a brain tumor. Because of this, he has epileptic episodes from time to time, and has to take medicine to combat the two things. Because of this, his drivers recommend that he doesn't drive. Until today. That is the amazing thing that's happening because he's driving for the first time in several years. Why Cole Sprouse needed a break from acting? Well, him and his brother have been child actors since they were very young, and now both of them want to be able to get out into the real world under not-so-stressful environments to discover themselves. So now you can find him working as a host in a restaurant in New York City. 209 seconds that will make you question your entire existence! Basically, this is a perspective simulator that shows you how small we really are relative to the rest of the universe. And boy, are we, oh, so small. So I want to play a little game with you. What do you think all these videos have in common? 
Yes, they all have the words my first time in the title as well as a clickbaity thumbnail to the side. Any guesses? Well, it turns out that none of these videos are actually about sex. Yes, that's right, these are total clickbait videos and titles and thumbnails. Don't we live in such a wonderful age? How to make money on YouTube without any subscribers. Okay, so this video is very ironic because it would work so much better if you had subscribers. But the gist of it is you go onto Amazon and you buy a bunch of products and then you film yourself making a bunch of product reviews and you lie about how awesome this product is. On top of that, you use a clickbait thumbnail and a title and then you use an Amazon affiliate link for that product and you put it in the description of your video. So when people are convinced about how good the product is and buy it, you earn three cents if they use your affiliate link in the description. FouseyTube shows us how to get a girl's attention. So in this video, he walks by this girl who's sitting outside of a coffee shop trying to get her attention over and over again. The first time he walks by with his gold play button, and that doesn't work. Then he walks by doing the moonwalk with some red shoes, and that doesn't work. And then the third time he walks by with a cute little puppy on a leash, and she instantly bolts up and runs towards his dog and picks it up without even like saying hi or anything. And that goes against like all social norms, so I'm pretty sure this video is totally fake. But yeah, saved you a click. The Unbelievable Origins of Birth Control Condoms used to come from sheep intestines. <coughs> Felix Shellbert says this can't be happening! It's okay guys, don't worry, he's just referencing how Club Penguin is shutting down. Or at least the version that all of us know about is. Walt Disney is actually replacing it with a version called Club Penguin Island, which is for mobile devices only. The Disturbing Truth About Sperm Banks Well, across the 300 sperm banks in America, none of them are regulated at all by the FDA. Thus, you can't find any consistent policies across all of them. But you're probably okay. Casey Neistat asks, what happened to my hyperadapts? In case you didn't know, those are his self-lacing shoes. It turns out he gave them to a fan who suffers from paralysis from the chest down. And welcome to this episode's clickbait flash briefing this week. I have something to tell you. I have something to tell you. Big announcement. Okay, I kid you guys not when I say this. The big announcement in this video is that in a couple weeks, he's going to make a huge announcement. I know you guys don't believe me, so here's the clip for yourselves. The really big news is in December or the end of December, which I can't tell you guys until the end of December. Okay, that's enough of that. We have something to tell you. What could it be? Is she pregnant? Are they getting married? I hope he's not sick. No, what happened is they got drunk and went to a tattoo parlor together and each got tattoos on each other's wrists with each other's name on them. She got a flower, he got a tiki. And I must say, this video is especially cringy to watch through. See this on a camera? Okay, okay. No. 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 But I got you guys. Something I've been wanting to tell you. Well, it turns out that her show on Netflix, Haters Back Off, just got renewed for a second season. I have something to tell you. I'm 23 and I feel myself getting dot dot dots. What could it possibly be? Well, it turns out that he's starting to get tired of vlogging all the time and it's draining his energy, so he's going to slow down on the upload rate. So, we have something to tell you. Well, a while back they uploaded their wedding ceremony video to YouTube, and a bunch of people called them out for not being legally married due to some documentation they saw in the video. So they uploaded this video to say, yes, they are not legally married, that ceremony was just a commitment ceremony. But they don't care about that legal status, they have committed their lives to each other and they both have rings for each other, so that's that. I have to tell you something, huge announcement. Well, after watching through this 20 minute video, he finally tells you what it's all about. And he basically says he's going to stop vlogging, dot, dot, dot. And he takes a pause. And then he says on his second channel, he's going to start vlogging on his main channel. It's totally ethically okay to use titles like this. They're not emotionally manipulating a bunch of people, especially your fans or anything like that. It's totally, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Well, I hope you're enjoying the video. So far, it has saved you four hours and eight minutes. That's a lot of time I'm used towards saving burning puppies. Yes, once again, saving burning puppies. Now, for this week on Facebook, make sure to check us out on facebook.com slash stopclickbaitofficial. The rumor come out, does Bruno Mars is gay? <laughs> Let me hear that once again. The rumor come out, does Bruno Mars is gay? The answer is no, but... 
Okay, that's... This title is hilarious. <laughs> she decided to buy a homeless man a meal at McDonald's. There's just one problem. He wasn't homeless. That's right, it was probably just some dirty hippie looking dude and a nice suburban house mom that wanted to save the day and pay it forward, but... I mean, I guess it was a nice gesture and all. <laughs> Here's what happens if your Apple AirPods get lost or stolen. Okay, this seems to be from a reputable source, Business Insider. They, they're pretty good with journalism, I hope. Um, oh, no? The article is about you have to buy new ones if you lose them? Oh, okay. Apple is considering another big change to the iPhone. And unfortunately, they're not bringing back the headphone jack. They're replacing the lightning port with a USB-C. A port that's faster both data transfer-wise and power transfer-wise. Family is shocked when a Chick-fil-A employee does this in front of their disabled daughter. If you were her employer, what would you do? Well, according to this thumbnail, you can obviously see she's taunting their disabled daughter with like a loser sign or something. No? Oh, she's just doing sign language. Oh, what a heartwarming video. Let's just spread hate and despair with these clickbait headlines and not report on how loving and compassionate people actually are. Doctor, are we over-vaccinating small children? The answer might surprise you. Well, if you're guessing that no, we do not over-vaccinate small children, then the answer will not surprise you because you're an intellectual human being with common sense. She cuts into this huge cockroach with a knife, but what she finds inside? Unreal! It's just a cake. Bully poured super glue all over her head. You won't believe what she did next! She just got a haircut. She didn't do any crazy revenge plan or anything. Is Jaden Smith dead? Does viral CNN video finally confirms suicide? No, he is totally okay and he's free to walk another day, questioning the meaning of life and sharing his wonderful observations with us. Here's what happened when a guy in Amsterdam quit sugar for a month. Okay, this one is really going to blow your mind. He lost weight, gained energy, and felt overall way better. He sent his professor these pictures from the hospital to get out of a test, but look closely. He was using earphones as oxygen tubes. Man swallowed a micro SD card and you won't believe what happened next. You must be a wizard if you can guess this one. Yeah, he, he pooped it out. That's, that's it. <laughs> All right, and I saved one of my personal favorites for last. He brings his girlfriend to the hospital to deliver quintuplets, but gets a huge surprise instead. This one actually blew my mind. She is not pregnant. <laughs> she just had a hefty lunch. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching the second episode of Stop Clickbait. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're still watching at this point, you are a true fan and I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Make sure to check us out on Patreon.com if you want to support us in terms of creating Chrome extensions, Firefox extensions, and bringing the next episode of Stop Clickbait. Also check us out on Facebook.com slash Stop Clickbait Official, as well as on Twitter and Instagram. If this long video hasn't quenched your thirst of spoiling clickbait quite yet, make sure you check out this video on the right. I think it might do the trick for you. Alright guys, thank you so much again for watching this video, and I hope you have a great day. See you next time.